do the bombing first. We're going to talk to... fight right there's the rest of my team the ones that I'm working with at least and our helicopter an unarmed transport helicopter but it's perfectly good for the job mostly of the island is high tech solar panels there that's one of the major bunks part uh convoy guns there underneath us over here is skull headquarters and one of the buildings here was hit by a bomb But anyway, the bill, uh, whether I've got the right location. Um, the bomb is what convinced Scal that he needed to do more work with the uh, military uh, 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 security kit. Bivouacs are the game's equivalent of safe houses, effectively. And, uh, by landing here, we now have actually um, extended what we've uncovered of the map. There's a, a crate, by the looks of the map, up on here. Dear. Climb the ladder. Not entirely sure what these are, but they seem to be something to do with the. Uh, that was cash. That's not a problem. Cash is good. Cash is, cash is important. Helps keep us in ammunition and uh, consumables. Right. Let's go find the Gora. How far is that? That's a little bit further than I want to walk. Mostly because if I walk that distance, the helicopter will despawn. Yeah. 
helicopters despawn after you travel about a kilometre from them. this how you imagined it? Going someplace? Sentinel patrols are getting close. We need to relocate. You must have heard them pretty bad to have them come after you. What's an outfit like that doing on a row anyway? There was that bombing on Skeltech. I've heard of it. I haven't heard too many details. What do you know? I'm sorry, Nomad. I'm very busy. Excuse me. That was helpful. Tycoro's hiding something. Let's need to find out what. Hi. Are we gonna make it out of this? Right. So this is just. I was hoping you can shed some light on this. I said condition. everything I know. Thanks. See you around. So that was information about where to find a weapon. The idea of the, some of the buildings here are uh, like I find interesting. after. No, don't want that particular weapon though. A pistol 5 in 5 by 6, that's interesting. Let's have a look at that again. So longer range, but not as accurate, not as handy, but more damage. Hmm, interesting. Might consider that one for another time. Anything on here? No. Say so the architecture is interesting, but uh, not sure how practical it would be. orientation we'd end up here right outcasts are in the infinity province are evacuating their equipment um, sentinel checkpoint computers infinity hold documents right okay so I want us to hit some checkpoints folks of it Checkpoint to the north. Checkpoint here. Is there any others? How far is that one? Seven hundred and 94 meters so we're not going to despawn a helicopter if we go and have a look right we'll go and have a look thankfully the checkpoints aren't normally manned with too many people Go, go, 
see bikes, but I'm not seeing people. Okay, we're clear here. Weird. Ah. So, looks as though it was outcasts that got hit. No worries. That's not good. But we can hide from them. That's the old, uh, reconnaissance joins. Get spotted by them, they drop uh, flares and sm uh, smoke all around you, and then um, you get hit by uh, uh, some of the elite wolves and uh, sometimes backed up with uh, ground uh, combat vehicles. Ground the Azrael's clear. Uh, we should be robots, out of range of I mean. sensors. Right. old abandoned farm box of it. So there's there's the checkpoint over there that we uh, on a hit, but there's a patrol up there somewhere. Yes, that then, yeah. There's a transport drone coming through. If I was to knock it down, then I might get some goodies. Does uh, trying to do that's better. Got a gain noise. It's also interesting to note that it respawned us a little distance away from where we were when we backed out. Where's the patrol? That sounded like a motorbike patrol. Right. Anything up in the loft? So that was in we go. Don't ask me how long this place is supposed to have been abandoned. Are you going to give me a chance to pick up that bit of paper?
Okay. He reckons I've already got him. Okay, no worries. So, there's our target, target number one, there's almost certainly a couple more that we're going to need to hit, but we'll sit in the bushes and we'll fly out our drone. So there's a sniper in the tower. Is he referring to anything around us don't think so the only company we've got is deer there's two down there there's another one there so if I take Sniper off, put him on. Appears to be empty. Anybody over this side? Appear not. So it would appear to be just those four, which is fine. Killed him. Good hits. Right. Still hearing people. Don't want to get spotted by the uh, vehicles either. Investigate. So what did we find? Objective board, come on. Unread. Right, Lieutenant, uh, Intel has ID'd several outcast hideouts in the F Infinity Province. Tiger, terrorist De Degora Ito could be using these hideouts to evade, capture, or kill. Um, there's a hideout in the Polaris uh, residences in western part of Infinity where we believe the outcasts are producing their explosives. Launch an air ra uh, assault raid against this uh, position ASAP. Heavy resistance expected. Use of deadly force is authorised. Polaris residences are in the western part of Infinity on the hillside. Central suspects outcast bomb factories in the Polaris resident. So Okay, so we've got an idea of where as well with that picture.
right we'll dismantle this sniper oh, this uh, designated marksman rifle we'll be using those parts to do something no doubt nothing much there mark 14 rifle This is where we could do them with the helicopter. No worries. Ah, that's where the voices are coming from, that other base. Map. So, Polaris Residence. Polaris is in the western part of Infinity on a hillside. We're in the Infinity. Is this it? There's definitely a hillside. Right, how far is that? Three kilometres. We haven't got a helicopter so we're going to have to tab it unless we can pick up... Well, we can pick up... Ah, there's uh, motorbikes there. Motorbikes are easier to move around on than um, uh, four-wheel. Right, so let's go take out that motorbike patrol. Right, over we go. That's it. All good. Interesting, he's burying a body. Right, so I'll get on the motorbike. My team will find their own transport. And we'll go over to where we need to be so to the road along the road doesn't matter which track there to junk to, uh, to a t-junction turning right and um, we'll have to go through a checkpoint Away we go. He didn't recognise us for who we were, thankfully. Come this way because if I can avoid vehicles then I'm less likely to be identified we have a checkpoint there with a vehicle so much for going the small road to avoid being identified well wow. I came to that G-junction faster than I expected. So if I scoot round the side of this hill cross country, I can look beside the road, I should be able to avoid the checkpoint. There's a patrol there, there's the checkpoint. And there's a 
appear to be another checkpoint there. Oh. Let's see you follow that up there. Long and old railway track. It seems to have had a landslide beneath it. Spotted again. Oh, that was a bit messed up. Have that drone's flying. More firepower fixing. I'm here. Lay down fire. Need to turn it. Hostile down. Make a good headway now. Empty. Drone's out. Would have been sweet to have it right about now. Glad I wasn't around that explosion. Right, what's going on here with this truck? We're almost at the Polaris residences, but let's find out what the heck's was going on here. So this is there it goes. Chopper's gone, we're clear. Right. Would appear to be just general supplies, but oh, we've got fires going on over here. What the heck's going on here? Mind you, they had ordered an air assault, didn't they? Another transport drone can ignore that one. train coming through as well on the new lines rather than on the old broken ones trying to get up this cliff side because if, if we can get up this cliff side find out what's going on with that Come on. There we go. Find out what this smoke's all about. Not 
not gone up far enough. Come on. Let's try that again. Come on. Up you go. Oh, never mind. You're not going to do it, are you? Nope. told to expect heavy opposition but that looks like a downed helicopter <coughs> right time to fly the drone so definitely a downed helicopter troops oh a heavy Heavy is a mu much higher priority than uh, the sniper is a higher priority as well. How many more are there? Another heavy there. So I'm going to take that one off and put that one on the heavies are more and the snipers are more dangerous than um, so one two three four five six seven there's a fair few here but we can take them Come on. Good to go. Clear. They're gone. Well done. Next three. Come on. Those three down. Right, how many more? One at least there. Another one there. And it's the radio operator. So I definitely need to take him out. think that's the lot. Right. That sounds like a combat drone.
go through there in a moment. Let's just check these bodies. So potentially civilians, potentially outcasts. I'll go down check the ones down below as well and then come back up and check the building. It was an impressive building. Where did that? Where's it gone? Where is it? Right. Oh joy. Get back to the fight. Thank you. Right. Just get myself back under cover. And get myself patched up. Screwed that up. Right. So there's at least three other crates to be found. We'll go back to the other building and um, do what we actually came here to do.
Access forbidden. Secure operator. Here again, civilian bodies. Lots more civilian bodies. Key use big data remain. Not sure if I can make out what that's actually trying to get at. I think. Find out Dagora's secret. Um. Right. Paul and Madeira battery plans. Check the maximum load. So this is one of the things that Paul and Madeira had been working on prior to th these are the plans for the prototype energy cell being developed by Paul and Madeira for Skeltech. Plans state the energy cell uh, has an incredibly high power yield and c if altered it could uh, become a devastating explosive device. Right. That's interesting. Back to Degora is what it's telling us to do. But before we do, we're just going to see what else we can recover here. But. Uh, stuff on this level looking for the uh, steps up onto the roof but uh, that might be an inside staircase or it could be an outside staircase Elect so it's inside there's the steps Anything out on that landing? No. Anything on this landing? No. There's nothing on the roof here, even though there was, should have been a body. Let's see if we can get an idea whether. So there and Civilians. So there's a second, there is another crate still to be found.
No worries. Okay, let's go. Back to find Go Dagora. We'll take the armored car. It's not as though the troops here will be needing it anymore. Okay. Wait for the troops to get in. Sorry, let's put a marker there on the map. quick look in here how to avoid checkpoints there's a checkpoint there there's a checkpoint there and also there wasn't the That's the way. Just hope we don't need to train head on. Interesting slope we seem to be going up though. Very interesting slope. So if we go on a little bit further we can pick up that side track. This one. could have parachuted from that platform but I don't think we could have paraglided as far as we needed to go.
Is that our track? No, that was not our track. Interesting. Shot one of them. That amount of lead, I can't say I'm surprised. The helicopter got away. That was not such a bright idea. Never mind. Right. What's he got to say this time? Are What's you he? Right? Yeah, I'm in one piece. I found a workshop. Maybe it was yours. There were some blueprints Paula had drawn. There isn't time. That Sentinel platoon took some of our supplies. Critical supplies. We won't survive without them. Please. Help us get them back, and take them to our rally point. Yeah, fine. But I'm hanging on to these documents. <laughs> 